Hey, today we're gonna have a little bit of a different video. I am in the mountains, as you might have noticed. And for the next few days, I'll be exploring Serra da Estrela with my brother. And João. <laughs> but yeah, let's go figure out a place to sleep. Good morning. Today we're having a little bit of a late start. Yesterday didn't go as planned. We wanted to drive to the beginning of the trail, camp here, and then start. But when we were gonna start driving from the sunset spot to here, the van broke down. And so we ended up just camping there, tried to figure out what was wrong with the van. Uh, which, by the way, nothing like super serious. And so this morning we could still drive here and we're not starting, but it's like 9.30, which is a Science little later sprints. than we wanted to. But yeah, let's keep going. I'm excited to be in the mountains, even though it is a lot colder than I was expecting. It's freezing, but yeah, let's go. And this is a good time to tell you that a new friend joined us, Fabio. Our plan for the next couple days was just to explore the mountains. We had everything on us to be self-sufficient with tents, food, water, and so we set course towards Kuvan Damtad, a beautiful little nook next to the beginning of the Zezer Glacier Valley. In the beginning of the afternoon, we got to this clearing called Nav Mestra. It had some little constructions, some tables, so we decided to take a little break for lunch. And while the lunch was being cooked, I decided to try and sketch something. The only problem was, my fingers were so freaking cold! <laughs> Just holding the mechanical pencil was a struggle. So actually drawing was even more of a challenge. After a quick sketch and a quick lunch, it was time to hit the trail again and finish our ascent. And we've made it to the highest point we're gonna get today. Basically, I guess the highest point was over there <laughs> and I'm only talking here, but yeah, we stopped for lunch already. I made a little drawings and now we're going to start making our way down to our sleeping point, which is going to be one of the valleys over there. There's like João and Fabio and Philippe and we're all doing good. Let's go. <laughs> we just got a little bit lost <laughs> we lost the trail 
We came down this face of the hill. You can see some of them still coming. And now we just need to find the trail back again. But there's no trail in sight. But we'll find it. We're not lost anymore. <laughs> there's a trail. Almost at the campground, but I'm tired. And we just came from up there. We went all the way down and now all the way around and up and we're here. And there's my brother and we're going. Let's keep going, make dinner, set up the tents and rest for tomorrow. We made it to camp. Yeah, now it's time to basically cool off my feet, take a little shower in the river, and make dinner. Everybody's here. And a fire. <laughs> and a fire. woke up in this beautiful place <laughs> which is always incredible I try to wake up early to go catch the sunrise but I didn't wake up early enough so I only got the shot that you probably already saw and now we're all having a little breakfast you can see them in the back having some warm tea and then eventually we're gonna have to pack up and start moving oh but first Let's do some sketching. I decided to try and sketch part of our campground while my brother was taking some pictures of the cliff next to it. Again, my hands were not really enjoying this. I should really try getting some gloves for next time. After some warm tea so I could feel my hands again, it was time to back up. And 
we're back at it again. We finally started a climb. Again late. <laughs> it's like 10 something. And now the mission is to get to the top. Let's see when we get there. The beginning of today's trail was straight up. All the elevation we had to do was condensed in the first kilometer or so, which was definitely a nice way to warm up straight away. Só aqui é que é mais fundo já. made it almost to the top. We started down at Kvondam Tad, we hiked all the way and then for the past kilometer or so we've been just hiking along the ridge. Um, not entirely sure where we're going, some wake thingy. <laughs> but now we'll break for lunch, oatmeal with dates, apricot and mango and then some nuts. Back on the road, it's a little bit cold. I think just stopping for lunch kind of cooled us off and the wind picked up a little bit. So the jackets are back on and let's keep going. made it to the summit which is a little thingy up there uh, this is not the highest point in Serra da Estrela that's those two towers over there I think you can see it that's 2,000 meters so here we are probably like 1960 it's not that high but it's nice that's what we have in Portugal and now we are going down to a really cool lake. I don't know what it's called, it's like something conchus, but you're gonna like to see what it looks like. So let's keep going, because everybody's going away without me. <laughs> let's go. While we were walking and following the trail, coming down from the summit. I noticed me and Philippe were going down the wrong trail. So we decided to do a little shortcut and bushwhack into what we think now is the right trail that's leading us to the lake. Uh, but we lost a little bit of time and let's hope we can make it there with some daylight. The only problem we have now is we haven't seen Joan or Fabio in over an hour and a half. Maybe they're chilling by the lake. I don't know. And so we kept hiking through bushes, climbing down rocks, looking everywhere for a sign of the correct trail that would take us to the lake. And after a few more bushes and rocks, 
we ended up finding the trail. Look at it. Yay. And now off to go find Joao and Fabio. Just made it to the lake and there's Joel and Fabio. And it looks like they just got here. They don't look like they're chilling. Let me flip the camera. Joel, Fabio. The reunion. Hey. <laughs> you saw the lake. It was a pretty lake, yes. But that's not why this lake is special. That's not why I said you'll probably like the lake. So let me show you that part. And the hole. That's the reason this lake's special. It takes you straight to New Zealand or somewhere close. Now we're basically just booking it back to the van because remember when it broke down in the beginning of the video? Yeah, we need to get to it today so we can schedule a tow truck for tomorrow morning. So now we have about five kilometers to go through Whoop, and a creek and about 40 minutes of sunlight left. So let's keep going. We're almost back at the car, but just look at this gorgeous scenery. And while I finish this little last descent on this rocky path back to the car, I wanted to ask you something, which is, do you like videos like this? Like a little travel vloggy, hikey, nature -y, with a little bit of drawing and a little bit of art. I didn't bring my watercolors this time, but generally I do. And if you do like this type of video, please comment down below saying so, or leave a like, or both, <laughs> ideally. Uh, so I know that I can do it, instead of just the ordinary painting video at home. Because I do love if I can mix both of these activities. But yeah, let's continue with this path. And with that, and with a new friend, the fox, we made it to the end. She really doesn't want to go away. Go away, Fox. I'll put links to all of their socials, Fabio, João, Felipe, in the description and in the cards. They do really awesome content doing like traveling and hiking and videography and photography. I'm just looking for the Fox. Um, there's only one catch. It's all in Portuguese. So if you know Portuguese or if you'd like to learn, go check out their profiles and I'll see you in the next video. Remember to subscribe. Bye.